Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. I got a huge update on what's going on with the next storms possibly forming. Now, you do see we have Invest 94L, and you do see all this dry air and upper atmosphere that it's dealing with. This is going to keep this system weak, and it's going to move west with this as it goes further west. Now, when it gets closer towards the eastern Caribbean, you can see we have outlook for it. It's 10% in the next 48 hours, just for at least a tropical depression, and 30% in the next seven days. Now, the census is, as it reaches around six days and goes towards the eastern Caribbean, it could be somewhere around a tropical depression or a tropical storm. It depends how much this dry air interferes with that tropical wave. Now, when it gets closer, could we still have this group of thunderstorms right here? And I'm sure it's being shown a lot. The latest information that I'm showing is that you don't really have to worry about this one. But even though it shows it in the ensembles of this forming up really fast and becoming a strong hurricane, if you remember what happened with Milton, Milton came all the way to the Gulf of Mexico, sat on the southern side of the Gulf of Mexico, just got itself together, got energy from the eastern Pacific. But the ensembles, if you remember, it showed a major hurricane going across the northern Caribbean, and none of that showed true, and it trended forever. I'm saying that because that's what the GFS is seeing. That's pushed a lot, but at the same time, that's only if it's a northern track. It has to be northern right here to quickly turn and do something. And the trend is, is way down here. It's going to build up way down here. And it's going to get pushed to the west because of a high pressure, up level high that's going to be forming. And we're going to start getting some fronts coming through. And this trough, it'll bring convection along the front. But this trough will create shear on what's going to happen with Invest 94L. And that would take Invest 94L on a sudden southern track, which could be the Gulf later on. It could be the Eastern Pacific. we got to wait down the road. This is literally seven, eight days before it gets right here. It can go southern or it can go uh, northeastern. So I'm going to show you the latest information. That way you know what is up with this atmosphere and what the latest trend is. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year along. And make sure you share the information and hit the like button. Show support for video. Let people see what is going on. Now, first of all, just like we always start our videos talking about what's going on from the impacts before. And so far, you can see Florida is still almost a million without power. North Carolina still has over 20,000. Maine, almost 20,000. Georgia, over 10. And California, over five to 7,000. And North Carolina's hardest hit area is, of course, where the power outage is. Now, you can see this when you look for your chances for a tropical depression. As that system starts forming up, it goes towards the Yucatan. And as this Invest 94L forms up, it goes towards the Caribbean. But around this point, this is where we're going to get a trough of cold air. And once again, this will be convection along the front of it. But it will create shear on anything that tries to come towards that. And it will go down towards the southern side. Now, what goes towards the Yucatan, we're going to have a high pressure that's going to be building over here. And eventually, it's going to spread out across the whole Gulf of Mexico. Now you can see this when you go further, chance for a tropical depression. You can see how the rest of everything goes southern and to the west. So watch this as we break it up in increments. So as we go five days, that's when it starts going a little northern by the Central American Gyre. Six, seven days, six and seven days when we got to watch around the Eastern Caribbean for possible impacts. More likely a strong tropical depression, maybe even a weak tropical storm. I think if anything, it has a very low chance of becoming a hurricane just because of the atmosphere. Now you can see once you reach seven days, everything starts going to the south and to the west and stays in that atmosphere. Now this is where we have the high pressure growing over here and it could block this and help it go north. This is Invest 94L. The first one actually has the best potential to go right into the Eastern Pacific. It has a very small window. So you can see this when you go by the dynamics of the atmosphere. So you have your temperatures, your sea surface temperatures. You have very warm water still in the Caribbean. The Gulf is still all messed up from all these hurricanes forming in there. A lot of below average anomalies in there still above average temperatures for something to form. Now the latest on Invest 94L, which is going to be another portion that we need to watch for. I'm still showing that is going to be our biggest issue. The one that's going that the GFS is seeing is going towards the potential Gulf of Mexico. It has a very small window. I will show you. 
And you can see literally in six days showing it's going to be somewhere around the eastern Caribbean. And you can see with other models when you go by the Canadian showing it will eventually go further to the west. The latest model run you can see in the purple shows that it gets hit with that trough and it gets pushed back to the east northeast. Still showing the average could go a little bit closer towards Cuba, towards Dominican Republic, maybe towards Bahamas and southern Florida. Now, when you go by the euro, you can see the euro is showing almost the same thing, but you can see that southern dip. And when you go by the GFS, you can see almost the same thing. It takes that southern dip. But you can also see once it reaches around five to that six day marker, it's showing that it will be either a tropical depression, which is still favoring, meaning that dust could just flow with it as it goes to the west and having problems. To form up and there's a few members that show it could start strengthening at this point you could have a tropical storm reaching the eastern caribbean now you can see this when you follow the 500 millibar vorticity it shows you everything in the atmosphere and you see as you get in that trough coming down of the cold air that's coming down for the first one you can see that first group of thunderstorms going towards the west and you can see invest 94l trying to go towards the west as well now you see with that trough it does create some shear on this system but still don't do anything major this still goes towards the west towards central america and now you're starting to get this upper level high now you're starting to get this upper level high pressure that is forming now upper level highs go clockwise and this will pull everything into this direction as it's going by this high pressure now you can see this has invest 94l goes southern right on that high pressure and that goes to the west you still got your high pressure right over the whole gulf of mexico and you can see very important that this potential cutoff low is far to the west it needs to be over the gulf of mexico to pull this system to the north i'll show you now you can see the high pressure building and you can see both of them not having a good chance not only would this create some shear on invest 94l why this one's already going west you can see the high pressure right here steering everything to that western track and showing that both of them potentially both of them will go out into the west and not be any issue this could bring some storms and some impacts towards central america maybe towards jamaica and some people in the caribbean so we do need to watch out for that but as far as the lower 48 showing you really don't have any threats from neither one of them and i'll show you this first because i see it push really hard on what's going on for florida and i think florida has been through enough carolinas georgia everybody's been through enough and it's really been trending that this is not going to do anything however it is close but you can see from here that you have this big high pressure coming goes clockwise pushes that to the west and there's invest 94l also getting pushed out through the west now i'm going to show you what gfs is seeing because gfs is the only model that is showing this the trend is it won't form up everybody matter of fact it's been that trend for quite a few days now you see as it starts forming up as we literally goes five days towards six days this is where it has its shot this is where the high pressure don't stay too long and it starts going towards the west and actually what's happened is we're getting a system coming through pulling this to the north instead of letting this keep going to the west keeping everything blocked now this run is your 18z last night showing it could go right back towards where helene went and just be a catastrophic storm but still to show you what it sees you can see how it starts going towards the west and it shows that the upper level high is over in this region and this cutoff low is actually further to the east and not over here by the four corners and that is what pulls that further to the north and at the same time you can see your upper level high right here and that is steering that to the north as well but then upper level, upper level high shrinks and allows this to get pulled to the east northeast because look at the latest update showing that the high pressure will come and that will keep going to the west still need to watch it for that one little variability in five to six days still not showing that is a strong possibility national hurricane center don't even have anything out and they do seven days now showing that goes to the west and invest 94l is going to go towards the west also maybe something will start building again as we go literally in two weeks but you can see it's trending you have your system coming through you have your upper level high forming 
Your cutoff low is way far to the west. It's not going to pull it into the Gulf at that time. You have your trough coming down, pushing Invest 94L to the south and west. Neither one of them showing an issue. Still, once again, maybe in two weeks, but we don't even know what this is going to do literally in five days. Now, this is what's being pushed hard. GFS is showing in the ensembles that it will come northern Regardless of all this high pressure, all this high pressure is going clockwise, it would block it and steer this system to the west. Still, regardless of the high pressure, it says it will keep headed to the north. You see that? That is not the latest trend. The trend is literally in five days, this upper level high will start bringing this to the west. And this is what's being shown all the time. You can see the same thing with the euro as well. As it starts building up something, you can see this upper level high expanding out, bringing Invest 94L to the west, getting rid of what the GFS is seeing. You can see how this is coming through. It's not no big strong system, no big cutoff low that's going to pull that to the north and it just gets pushed to the west what we gotta watch out for because literally eight nine days away is too far to know for sure is whether the second trough is coming down and dissipating that system because you can see this on a control member of the euro showing the same thing but it shows that it actually goes a little bit further to the west still gets messed up by this trough that's creating a lot of shear on this system as well and it just dissipates gets really close and it just tears it up you see how it continuously tries to come back over and over the one we gotta watch for is invest 94l not this first one that gfs is seeing all by itself the trend is that will go to the west as you can see here with the euro showing everything is weak on what the gfs is seeing big high pressure you can't do anything with that and then you have Invest 94L coming in and suddenly possibly getting blocked right there. That's a little concerning because this could also go a little bit further to the south, go out into the west. But once it goes south, then it could put that golf at play again. Then it's a timing issue. Because when you look at the previous run with the Euro, it shows that it actually takes that southern dip instead of getting blocked so it's still too far down the road to know what this system is doing but this is the one i believe we need to watch and you can see with the ensembles we still need to watch that group of thunderstorms just in case it gets into the southern gulf of mexico just like a lot of these systems have been doing matter of fact just like what milton just did come from the eastern pacific and come this way there is an ensemble there yet and i do believe euros ensembles more than gfs ensembles and you see how it shows you this is a possibility while these over here so they either go southern where it'd be an issue or it gets sheared off and go to the east. Still showing maybe down the road something could be forming up that's way down the road. Before the first seven, eight days, maybe the southern half of the Gulf of Mexico as that system gets pushed to the west. So we'll watch for it. And this group of storms is just taking a minute to whether it gets sheared and goes to the east or whether it gets pulled down by the high pressure. And just to show you a trend, you can see with the Canadian, you got that first group of thunderstorms, you got Invest 94L, you got your cutoff low way far to the west. It's not over here pulling this to the north. Here's your upper level high, steering both of these to the west. Showing still on our potential velocity anomaly that our tropics is going to start waking up a little bit more as we go past the 20th of October into the beginning of November as well. Now you do see that they do have this group of thunderstorms and maybe as it gets up the road a little bit, it has a 10% chance in 48 hours. 30% chance in the next seven days while it moves through this generally westward, southwestward across the tropical Atlantic. Right now it is an environment that is not favorable for development maybe later down the road now remember we do have these temperatures coming through so for tomorrow morning you're going to start having the 40s come on down even the 30s are going to start coming in and when you go by your wind chills you can see you can start feeling like some freezing temperatures on the northern side of the lower 48 and a little bit of the inner coastal of the northeast feels like temperatures now as you go into tuesday the 40s and 50s are going to come a little bit further towards the southeast but with our wind chills Really going to be cold on Tuesday. It's going to feel like you're in the 20s now for the northern side of the lower 48 and the intercoastal northeast. Now, as you go through Wednesday, it comes down even deeper, starts bringing those 40s, even feeling like 50s in Texas. And when your wind chills, it's going to bring those 20 degree feels like temperatures further towards the south. Now, as you go to Thursday, remember, this is all week. 
Here comes a 40s. This is bringing that trough, blocking these systems. And with our wind chills, it's really bringing those colder temperatures again, all the way from the northwest, all the way from the Great Lakes and the intercoastal northeast, but it's also bringing them to the higher elevations of the Appalachians as well. Unfortunately, you're getting freezing temperature wind chills for people in North Carolina. Now, as you go through Friday, remember it's going to be all week. We have our next cold front moving through the Northwest. This one is colder. This one's actually bringing 20s and freezing temperatures with it. While you still got these 40s coming all the way towards the South and what your wind chills is bringing a lot of cold temperatures, even bringing the te teen temperatures and maybe even some single digit wind chills as it starts moving in. And this is coming further in as well. It's just a few days down the road. Thank you for your time, everybody. Hope this information has helped you understand what is coming around the corner i'm very happy to hear from everyone that's starting to talk about in the comments how they're back now and their things gotten better some told us unfortunately about all the destruction you got what's most importantly is that you are okay god bless every single one of you and your families and i hope you have a great day out there now before i go ephesians 4 24 through 32 and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, put in away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that is may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice." And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Amen. Have a great evening, everybody. I'll update you in the morning as we get closer. I'll do the afternoon updates again. It's still days down the road, and I don't think we're going to see a whole bunch of this. I think we might see a yellow circle that might go over here by the Western Caribbean, maybe even a little bit over here for the Southern Gulf as potentially into the eastern pacific but once again i'll keep you updated remember all glory does go to god our father in heaven yahweh and i always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and everyone that is around you and forever <laughs> amen <laughs> amen hallelujah have a great day everybody i appreciate every single one of you